Let's make a plot of the velocity profile at the outlet and we will compare that to the corresponding profile um, from the analytical solution in the fully developed region. Now I have an outlet entity here and to see what that is you know I can select it over here and let me deselect the velocity vectors okay and I can click on Z or I can just type Z to get the full view and if I zoom in here I basically want to extract the axial velocity along here and plot it versus radial distance. I can't use this particular uh, location though because that comes in as a surface into CFD post. So if I go to the isometric view and zoom in here you see that outlet you know is it comes in as a surface. So I have to create you know a line corresponding to the outlet. I'll go to location line and to distinguish from this I will call it my outlet. Okay I'm going to have this at the outlet, so the axial location is 3, and this is at the axis. The second point, the axial location is at 3, and the radial location is 0.1. And I'll get greedy and say number of samples is 100 with the recognition that the underlying mesh is much coarser than that. And I'll say apply, and that adds that location to the tree and I can turn it off or on and check that you know it's it's that line here so let's uh, extract the axial velocity along that line and make a plot to do that select chart and call it give it an appropriate name I'll call it velocity profile okay and under the data series tab and location you will see that I can just select my outlet and along the horizontal axis so what I want plotted over here is the axial velocity okay so that's the axial velocity and along the vertical axis I want to plot the radial distance which is called Y. We call it R um, in the pre-analysis. In the tool it's called Y. So select that and say apply. And that gives me the, the parabolic um, velocity profile.